the pickings. Leaving a bit early today, aren't you? Uh, yes, sir, I am. Uh, apparently you forgot uh, yesterday you said I could leave a little bit early today. Uh, a dental appointment. Oh, yes, I did forget. I'm sorry, Pickens. I hope everything is okay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, thank you. See you in the morning. Uh, yes. Everything go okay? You get the money? Sure, it's all here. Everything went just fine. <laughs> This is James. Pickens just left with an attaché case. He, uh, he got into a car with a young lady. Looks like he plans on keeping it all himself. Sure. I'll be over as soon as we close. You're out of shape. Well, depends on what I'm competing for. Well, you know, some people don't have to compete. All they have to do is ask. <sighs> well, I'm about finished getting rid of last night's party anyway. Since how your bicycle ain't built for two, my chariot face yonder. Carter's phone. Well, he's not here right now. If you call back in about an hour, he should be here. Just got a phone call. Sounds like a job. Well, I have another appointment first. See you back at the house. Well, just how am I supposed to get there? Take a bike. You need to exercise. Yeah. 
Mr. Crowder's phone. Well, who are you, a bill collector? It's for you. Crowder here. I want someone found. Yeah, is this a long distance call? Where are you calling from? San Francisco. Can you fly here and meet with me? Sure, why not? Your expense? Where will you be? Ghirardelli Square. Okay, I'll find you. Looks like I'm off to San Francisco. Time's up. She's waiting to meet you. I will pay your fee, Mr. Crowder, whatever the cost. Well, I'm expensive. Will a retainer of $3,000 get you started? Higgins, I like your style. Let's go meet the lady. Get you something to drink, perhaps? No, thank you. It's a little early for me. Well, uh, you will find him, won't you, Mr. Crowder? Step at a time, Mrs. Pickens. You have a recent photo of your husband? Yes. 
I'll get it for you. She has been falling apart ever since his disappearance. They've been married for 15 years. How many kids they got? None. Not a one. He's against having children. He, he was afraid they'd be too much trouble. How about you? Are you against it? See here, Crowder, I don't see what that has to do with finding my brother. Relax, Pickens, before you bust a vein. I'm just trying to find some insight to the character of the man. How often did he take these trips alone? Never. No, we were always together. I can't understand why he'd, why he'd leave me like this. Where did he work? He was uh... in real estate. He worked for a small firm downtown. We contacted them, but they weren't able to help us. Police? What'd they have to say? We reported him to missing persons the night he didn't show up. They, uh, they weren't very helpful. Last night, a friend of mine told me that she saw him in San Diego. So we decided that we should call you. If your information is correct, shouldn't be any problem tracking him down. I'll be in touch. Ah, uh, you'll call us immediately when you get a hold of him, won't you, Mr. Crowder? Yeah, I'll do that. Let. Thanks for bringing my car to San Diego, Poopsie. The man we're looking for is named Pickens. We'll check the hotels first. confidential. Don't worry. My lips are sealed. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. I, I've been on vacation for two weeks. I remember hearing something, though. You know, my partner, Harold, he, he was telling me about this uh, very foxy lady that was staying here with some old fart. Um... You should speak to Harold. You can check him out at Bill's, Bill's Pool Hall. Hey, Turkey. You're supposed to be getting my car while I pay my bill. What are you doing, taking the rest of the day off? Uh, yes, sir. No, sir. Hey, if you see this guy Pickens, uh, you give me a call. My name is Jesse Crowder. I'm staying at the Sheridan Inn. Okay. All right, Poopsie, hop out. I got a lead on our man. I'll take it from here along. I'll see you back in L.A. What do you want me to do now? Take a bite from here, too? <laughs> oh, give me a minute. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a shower. I said we were getting ready to take a shower. I couldn't talk to you. Don't enjoy yourself too much, baby. We got problems. Problems? What problems? Where are you? San Diego. I was checking out of the hotel when I ran into this dude. He has a picture of Pickens showing it to a bellhop. I think he knows where you are. You sure? No, I'm not sure, but I'm not taking any chances. There's too much bread at stake. 
What do you want me to do? I'm checking out now. I should be there in an hour. Keep him out of sight, and I'll take care of this dude. Okay, I'll do my best, but we were supposed to go to dinner and to go shopping. Now, I don't want to make him suspicious. Now, you listen real hard, you dumbass bitch. You are there to do a job for me. You blow it, and your ass is mine. Do you dig where I'm coming from? I hear you. Who was it? Wrong number. Huh. Hey, get on with it, Harold. This green matching the green is going to be mine in just a few seconds of time if you don't get out. <laughs> I'm looking for a cat named Harold. Uh, Anyone of you guys here? Yeah, baby, that's me. Hey, man, you gonna talk us? Oh, you shouldn't get so uptight, brother. Relax. I mean, live life kind of nice and easy. I was over at the hotel. I was talking to a friend of yours. He uh, told me you might be able to help me. Oh, well, uh, I'm here, man. Hey, man, why don't you freeze on that conversation? Or get out. It'll be a little hard to play pool with a broken arm, brother. You seen this guy? Uh, yeah, yeah. Couldn't forget him, man. He had a real foxy mama with him, you know? Did I say where they were going? Maybe. Said something about shopping along the coast. Thank
I told you guys to go after him together. He's a pro. Well, we figured Chuck and Bill could handle the job. And they're dead. And if you aren't careful, the same can happen to you. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, there he is. Go waste him. Okay. You know where to reach me when it's done. Hey, my man. What's happening? Not at the moment, you are, brother. You seem like a righteous dude. I'd like to cut you in on some wares you might be interested in. Check this out. Finest made anywhere, brother. <laughs> you trying to sell me some stolen goods, man? How you know I ain't the fuzz? Fuzz? I ain't never seen no black fuzz down here, you know? Always some fat fey dude trying to look hip. But look here. Got some items in the trunk you might dig. Uh, ain't you afraid somebody gonna break in your car and steal all them things from you? Well, man, you see this hip machine here? Well, it ain't no regular ride, you know. It's all like that old Trojan horse, full of secret places. Dig this. <laughs> huh? You like it? Yeah. You see, brother, this machine ain't got no keys. Operates on buttons and switches only. How about one of these for your lady? Uh, maybe next time, huh? Oh, come on, brother. Next time. It's beautiful. I'm here, but later. Check the ride. I do all this custom work myself. You operate the ignition from the truck, the start button's on the floor under the seat. You cannot start this ride or shut it off unless you flip that switch. Another thing, once you close the door, ain't no key can open it. You gotta tickle this little horse. <laughs> I'd be glad to lay some of these goodies on your ride, my man. I do it all myself. Maybe next time, brother. Right now, I got business. OK, brother. Keep me in mind now. Lay down. Want some action? No, thanks, little man. This ain't my week for boys. You come with me, all right? I give you plenty of good action. I give you show and everything. Well, that ain't the show I'm worried about. It's the everything afterwards. <laughs> OK, little man, lead the way. Pay me for the action. It's all right, okay. Uh, I hate to disappoint you, lady, but uh, all I want is some information. What? Uh, it's all right. I'll pay you. What are you, some kind of weirdo? No, baby, all I want is some information. Seen this man around? No.
hours of seeing them either. Well, thank you anyway. Come back again soon. I give you the best for nothing. Any friend of peace is a friend of mine. You have a safe. I have some valuables I want to deposit. Yes, we do, sir. If you'd step around to that door right there, and I'll put them away for you. Fine. Hey, little man, I'm a little tired. I'm gonna call it a day and check in at a hotel, okay? I'll have better luck. Yeah, I hope so. Can't afford your prices. friends like you. They're not my friends. How'd I get here anyway? I found you and brought you here with the help of some people. Do you know the people who've done this to you? Nope. But I got a feeling we'll meet again. Here's your picture. I talked to someone who's seen these people. But he's not alone. He's with a young lady. Pete, you're not only a good pimp. But you're a first-rate detective, too. Let's go talk to your friend. I said you seen this man in the picture. Maybe. I can't be sure. Does that help? A little. I believe it was him. Look, friend, I don't want to buy the damn place. I just want a little information. Hey, man, this is a hard times, friend. Sure, he was in here. He's been in here three or four times. Came in with a girl, called a candy. He bought a lot of expensive gifts. Got any idea where they're going? She left here uh, a few minutes ago. She asked me about some shops down the coast. And they headed south. Okay, friend, if your information ain't correct, I'll be back and I'll burn this goddamn place to the ground. pages of Dick Tracy. You wait for me here. I'll be right back. Okay, chump, what is it all about? What are you talking about, man? I'm talking about the lumps on my head. Don't play games with me. I'm not in the mood. Hey, you got the wrong guy. I, I said no games. 
Look, I don't know. I, I only do what I'm paid to do. I was paid to make you leave town. That's all. That's all. I ain't convinced. <laughs> I still ain't convinced. Who paid you? I don't know. Some guy. Where's he at now? I don't know. He said something about a ferry boat down the coast. I don't know just where. I don't know. Thank you for all your help. I'll see you again. Maybe we'll meet again. <laughs> Parking lot somewhere. Why are you following me? We ain't following you. We just stopped in for a beer. Ah! Wrong answer. No, 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 please! We was hired to stop you catching up with Pickens. By who? Don't know. We was paid three hundred dollars a piece to stop you. Give it up. Huh? You too, Frankenstein. Tonight, 
And whatever you do, don't forget to leave the door unlocked. Got it? Okay, fine. Who was that? My mother. Your mother? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never told me you had a mother. Well, sweetie, you never asked me now, did you? Now, come on, get dressed. I want to go out to dinner. And then you can buy me some more of these pretty things. Oh, not again. <laughs> Expensive hotel in town? Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. The kind of hotel that a, a guy would take, you know, a, a lady for the weekend. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Do you have uh, Mr. Pickens registered here? Uh, no, no one by that name. Uh, about uh, the gentleman. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you mean Mr. and Mrs. Miller, the newlyweds. Oh, yes, they're here, in the honeymoon suite. Honeymoon suite? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, give me your best $10 room in the house. And your baggage. I'm wearing it. up when I told you to. We could be eating now. I could starve to death in 10 
operator. I'd like to place a long distance call to San Francisco. Person to person, Mr. James Pickens. Collect. This is Jesse Crowder. Hello? Yes, yes, operator, I will. Mr. Crowder, have you found him yet? Mr. Pickens? Yeah, he's here. He's in a little town on the coast, right outside of San Diego. Oh, thank you, Mr. Crowder. We'll take a flight out. It should be there in a few hours. Mildred, he's found him. You know what? I got a surprise for you. Hello, Mr. Pickens. Uh, you must you must be mistaken. Really? I've tracked you all the way from San Francisco, so don't give me that bullshit, Pickens. You got a brother and a wife in Mill Valley. Brother? I, I don't have a brother, and I'm not married. His name's not Pickens. Okay. Well, they'll be here in a couple hours. Then we'll all know the truth. Get out of here fast. You go up to the room and start packing. I can go into the safe and get the money, okay? Fine. you go back to L.A. You may be my boss, but you don't boss me. The next flight out, Bootsy. Be on it. Better get down here quick. Why? What's wrong? Pickens' wife is on her way down here, and he's panicked. Did he go up to the money? Yeah. Yeah, he's downstairs at the desk now. He's going to get the money from the safe. Listen, I'll take care of Mr. Pickens. You keep our friend Crowder busy until I get the job done. Okay? Okay, baby. Anything you say.
Yeah, who is it? Candy. Candy. Oh, just a minute. Sugar Daddy now. You tuck him in? Huh? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, he's resting real peaceful. I was Pickens, I don't think I'd ever get any sleep. Couldn't take my eyes off of you. I bet you say that to everybody. Not necessarily. worth of stocks and bonds from the bank. You fenced them in San Diego. And now you're off to enjoy South America with a half a million dollars in my old lady. Give it up, supper, because I ain't got all me. The hell I will. Really done it? Done what? Shoot me. I thought about it, but no, I couldn't have really done it. That's very nice. I'm glad you didn't try. Why? That's the empty one. That's the one that's loaded. You really are a bastard, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, come in. Hell, you made pretty good time. Where is that rat scum? 
Now, no, 2139. Ain't just lady, ain't she? Well, you can understand how she feels being married for 15 years and then suddenly her husband disappears with another woman. Could have been worse. Could have run out with another man. And like dead bodies. Warm ones are more style. We should call the police. Shut up, James. Well, do what you want. I don't care. I'm off the case now. I found him for you. There he is. I'll expect the balance of my fee in the mail. You can't quit now. No. Watch me, lady. We'll double your fee, Mr. Crowder, if you stay on. Why? I found him for you. The girl. I want to meet the girl. And we also want to know who killed him. Okay. Money is my business. I never said no to a job. You better let the police know about the body. I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Uh, I hope your uh, $10 room was to your satisfaction. Fantastic, fantastic. Very nice day today, isn't it? Yes, thank you for the room. It was quite nice. So I'm going to give you a chance to earn a little money off of me because I need to answer to some questions. The lady in uh, 2139, what time did she check out this morning? Uh, 11.30 last night. Aha, uh -huh. that's very good. Second question is, was she alone? Uh, no. There was a gentleman waiting for her outside. Aha, uh -huh. you're doing fantastic. You're batting 500. Let's go for 1,000. Did you overhear where they were going? Uh, well, I sure did. Uh huh? Uh, the lady asked me about the Balboa Ferry, so it's uh, my guess that uh, that's where they're headed. Bingo! Say the magic word, win five dollars. You ought to be a cop, my man. You got all the answers. I am. My brother-in-law is the chief of police. Oh. Well, you uh, give my best, okay? Don't you think that we ought to go to the police station now? You fool, we can't go to the police. If we did, we'd probably never get our hand on that money. But I thought that maybe Don't you... think. You don't have the capacity. He's so stupid, sometimes I wonder if you're Harry's brother. At least he was smart enough to steal for me. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just do what you're told. You go over to that bellhop and find out what he told Crowder. Well, uh, if he told Crowder where they were, then I think... If he tells us. Then we won't need Mr. Smartass Crowder, will we? Go on, dummy. Oh.
um, <clears throat> you see, uh, well, um, uh, thanks. My bike! What is Papa doing my bike? Still didn't have to kill him. Look, bitch, I told you the gun went off accidentally. Now get your ass in the car! except mine, and that ain't for rent. Um, here's $5,000. Why don't you buy yourself two new cars? Yeah, you can forget that, the pal. It's not for sale. since you come back from Crowder's room. What did he do, give you religion? He treated me like a woman instead of a whore. Bullshit! Get your ass in the jeep! Get Crowder, I should have killed him myself instead of hiding those damn idiots. You don't have enough balls to take on a man like Crowder. What'd you say? I said... You don't have enough balls to take on a man like Crowder. been three hours. He should have been here by now. You know, Crowder must have wasted. Yeah, we better go see Bernie. I'll tell him what he wants to hear. But you follow my lead. All right. bother by Crowder anymore. What'd you do to him? We blew him off the road. Why? You worried about? I persuaded the attendant to uh, let me use this piece of junk. Hop in the back.
like the whole world is on my shoulder. It's much too late. Too late for love. Way too late. I can't help thinking about the pain. If only I could turn back the hands of time, turn them way back. Oh, it's too late for love, way too, too late. late for love. And change this sad story, the sad story of crime. And I have no one, no one Oh, it's too late for us It's too late, it's too late If only this moment would pass uh-huh. What are we stopping for? We gotta take a leak Some. Shut up, Candy. I was only agreeing with you, darling. Never mind. You wait here behind the rocks. If he shows up, you know what to do. If not, meet us at the airfield. It's only a short distance from here. The money is good either way. Don't look at me, turkey. Move it!
nobody on him. gonna take us, baby. So you better unlimit those pretty legs of yours. Because you're gonna need every muscle in them. <laughs> Shit. My mama told me there'd be days like this. Is that all your mama told you? No. She told me to stay away from niggas like you. <laughs> you should have listened to her. Killing me. Should be much further, baby. I think it's right over that ridge. Lord, please let this nigga be right for once in his life.
Young, pretty, black, and dumb. Did you think I was going to let you enjoy the fruits of my labor? Well, he did the job, but it was my idea. It was my plan. I lived with that disgusting idiot for 15 long years for that money. And no little slut like you is going to take it away from me. Mildred, Mildred, I've got the money. It's in the bag. Thank you, James. Thank you very much. Goodbye, James. Please, I mean, don't kill me, lady. Look, I'm not going to tell anybody. Oh, I know you won't, dearie. Dead people aren't talking this year. Or haven't you heard? be working out too well for you, do the baby. Where's your pimp? It's cold, Crown. It's cold. Oh, God, I'm so glad you came. No, it's all right. It's all right. Jim, let it kill me. It's okay. It's over now. Come on. Collecting for the rest of my fees and expenses. That lady that was about to blow your head off, that was Pickens' sister-in-law. She hired me to help find your sugar daddy. The rest of the story, you know. I'm sorry about my part in it, but Bernie told me... It's all right, baby. Don't be sorry. I got my fee and expenses. That's all I care about. Besides, you gotta make a living too, don't you? You. Save the names, baby. I've been called them all.
You did it, bitch! I'm... Damn! My car, my money, my jewelry, my grass, my future. <laughs> Inside. Yeah, round to the right, run back. Thanks. Hey, Harry, how goes it? Couldn't be better. My feet hurt. Okay. We'll rest here for a while. The highway is just right over there. Jesse? What are you going to do to me? Well, it's a little rocky out here for that. No, I mean about pickings. I don't know what you got in mind. Well, uh, I figure you and me, we could become real good friends. Well, we're kind of close right now. <laughs> Aren't you ever serious? Not with all my clothes on. No! No! You want to be with Jesse so much, then die with him. Mr. Crowder, since you have screwed up my life, now I'm going to end yours. Jesse! Jesse, speak to me! Jesse, are you all right? Jesse, it's me, Poopsie! Speak to me! Yeah. 
By my side is exactly where you belong, baby. Well, well, what do we got here? Well, we found it with some stolen goods and a few unexplainable items. Well, there's another item back there that she's responsible for, too. I'll get the car. No way back. You might want to ask her a few questions, too. You really are a genuine bastard, aren't you? Just my nature, baby. No way back. No way back. I went chances on you try. He won't give in.